Greetings, beautiful people. Welcome to week five of DEP 2004. So this week you have one assignment, one way to earn points. You can earn up to 20 points by participating in our third discussion. That's right, our third discussion. Just as a quick reminder, when you participate on the discussion board, you wanna make your initial post by Thursday and you wanna to reply to two or more classmates by Sunday. Now, when you make these posts, Think about it as you're communicating with your classmates. You're communicating with me. You are teaching us about something. You're sharing what you learned, what you found interesting. Now, just like in previous weeks, you have several options. You can choose from watching a video. I don't know if I have videos in this, this week. But anyway, there's three options. You pick which option you want to do, and then you respond accordingly. So like I said, you can get up to 20 points. So that's the main thing that's going on this week. If you're wondering what topic we're working on, we're on early childhood. So that's beginning at about age two and going through about age six. So they're preschool years through, you know, just starting kindergarten. And there's so much that happens from during this time period. Um, a lot of it is, you know, socialization. Socialization really gets in full gear where these kids start interacting with people besides their parents and their siblings, if they have any, and their immediate family. Um, so this is kind of a, a pretty big deal. You'll read all about all these developmental milestones that happen when you read chapters five and six in our course textbook. Now, a couple other pointers I want to make. If you have questions, there's a questions thread in Canvas, and all you have to do is quick click, um, you know, questions. It's on the discussion board. It's something like, um, I'm not sure, I'm confused. I think I label it like that. But anyway, you click that and post your question and I will get back with you and answer your question if I know the answer. If I don't know the answer, I'll refer you to a place where you can get the answer. The benefit of posting on the questions thread is that this is the equivalent of raising your hand in class. So everybody in our entire class can see your question. And that means that anybody who knows the answer can go ahead and respond. Or people can chime in and say, you know, I had that same question. And, you know, if enough people ask the question, that'll kind of prompt me to do another video or to make an entire post about it. But anyway, um, you know, I'm here for you. I am available Monday through Thursday. And if you, um, you know, if you need to get in touch with me, you can email me if you don't want to post to the questions thread. But just keep in mind, I'm available Monday through Thursday. I do have office hours. so I'm on the Ocala campus on Mondays and Wednesdays in the mornings from about nine in the morning to 11ish then I have a face-to-face -face class and then after class ends at 12 15 I'm usually in my office from 12 15 to 1 15 and then I have a, a lunch break and then I'm back in the office after my second class about 3 15 for 30 minutes so 3 15 to 3 45 so if you want to connect with me face to face or via telephone that's the times that I'm in the office if you want to connect any other time, I have virtual office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays and also um, in the mornings and in the evening. So you can see all that on our page, on our Canvas shell. Um, besides that, uh, that's kind of the, what's going on this week. All right. See you on the discussion board.